We have this new approach. It used to be, until last year, that vis-a-vis -vis European countries, we could be great friends on the bilateral, but then in the international institutions, they vote against Israel. But that's sort of off the table. That's something else. So last year, we said no more. No, 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 no. That's part of our relationship. And if you want a good relationship, we expect it to include all your actions, including what you vote in the EU or the UN. It all counts. You can't be really best friend buddies and then vote against us. It has consequences. So in Israel, there's a word that doesn't really have full translation. Does anyone know here what a fly it is? <laughs> All right, the, it, it, some things don't translate well. By the way, there's no word for competence in, 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 in Hebrew. I, I wonder why. Um, Fryer is sort of like a gullible sucker, if you will, where you know, you'll take a slap and say, oh, that's okay. So we're done being Fryerim with European countries. We respect them. We expect mutual respect, and we want to help, we want to engage, we believe in the connection, we don't think Europe is a lost cause, um, and th thanks to your efforts, we'll get stronger and stronger. So, Todaraba, and uh, keep it up. Thank you very much, and I want to thank the Senator and the Congress people. Um, we so appreciate your, your backing. We'll never ask, and we never ask for American troops to fight for Israel. We can fight, defend ourselves by ourselves, but we do need the backing, knowing that you have our back, and we know you do. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. We can take a couple of questions. So.